I'm Richard Roper. This is the Roper Rundown. Did you see that video of 105-year-old Agnes McKee throwing out the ceremonial first pitch at last Sunday's Padres game? Agnes becomes the oldest human ever to do so, barely edging out Dodgers fan Larry King. Just kidding, Larry. Now just think, Agnes has been around so long, she's almost old enough to remember the last time the Cubs won the World Series. When Agnes first started going to movies, there was no sound, and yet she still threw a pretty darn good first pitch. It was certainly better than the effort put forth by 50 Cent at City Field earlier this year. In fact, there have been a number of celebs that have thrown out first pitches so awful, you'd think they'd just been tased right before they were handed the ball. Remember when Mariah Carey came out dressed like a roller derby star from the 1970s and then executed a toss more befitting a game of beer pong than baseball? Now, Washington Wizards guard John Wall and Olympic hero Carl Lewis are, of course, world-class athletes, but their first pitches prove how the pressure can get to even those used to performing in front of huge crowds. And then there was my friend Gary Delabate, a New York sports fanatic, and a good athlete who baba buoyed the bed with the now legendary wild pitch that actually being the umpire who was standing a safe distance, well, what he thought was a safe distance away. ba fa indeed. New York was the site of yet another gruesome first pitch when Chris Rock donned a Yankees jersey, didn't get enough good advice from Adam Sandler, and then provided clear evidence that Rock had never thrown a ball of any kind, in any direction, at any point in his life. Actually, I can empathize. Not that people would care nearly as much about me as the aforementioned actual celebrities, but when I was asked by the Chicago White Sox to throw out a first pitch, I was almost hoping for a rainout so I'd be spared a possible YouTube embarrassment. The downside is so much greater than the upside. If you throw a decent pitch, so what? Like many toddlers and senior citizens, you have the ability to throw a ball in a relatively straight line. But if you screw it up, it will haunt you forever. Fortunately, I survived by throwing a high fastball. Okay, it was a changeup to Mark Burley, who gave me the ball and told me to get the hell off the field so the real men could play. Just kidding. But I was happy to get out of there without ba-ba blowing it. I'm Richard Roper, and this is the Roper Rundown. <laughs> Thank you.